This video is a demonstration of USB upgrade capabilities for Tektronix 576 Curve Tracer. 576 Curve Tracer is an analog instrument with a CRT display. It has no data processing capability or computer memory. What you see on the screen uh, will disappear as soon as you remove the device uh, or switch to another device like we do right now. There are two devices that can be mounted in the socket, but you cannot measure them at the same time, so it's difficult to do comparison. Now, with the addition of USB interface, you can transfer measurements from 576 into a computer program and easily compare devices uh, on the same display or save them in memory and reuse that, these measurements at later date. Please note how much flicker there is on the CRT display. Now we see the same live image on the computer. So it's a right now program is in real time mode. This is called live mode. We can take this image and store it in the reference memory. We store it in reference memory one. Okay, now we're going to use a horizontal positioning control to reposition the image. We move the live image to the right, and we can see that reference one uh, memory stores stored exactly the same uh, image that is being shown on the curve tracer. Next, we're going to turn off the live image and we're going to turn off reference memory one. Data is not going to go away. We just took it off display. I'm going to switch to a, a second part, second transistor. And we can see it's a different transistor. And we're going to store it in reference memory two. And then we're going to turn off uh, measurement on the curve tracer and turn off live display. Okay, and we're going to turn on reference 1. And now it's very easy to see that these are different transistors, easy to compare them side by side. Next, we can take this uh, screenshot and save it as a JPG file on a hard drive. You can also add annotation to the file for future reference. Let's see how it looks like. Okay, that's a GPG file. Let's go back to live mode. And we're going to save data in different format. Okay, so it's live data now. We can go save data and save on the hard drive uh, live image as uh, XY data or like a text file with two columns. Uh, one column is current and another is voltage. So it's easy to import into a variety of programs because it's asking the limited data. Okay, we're back in live mode. Sometimes you might want to measure more than one, uh, two, uh, two devices actually, or measure one device at three different settings. And you can do that with this program. You can store up to three images on one screen. So what we're going to do, we're going to store, again, these two transistors at one setting of curve tracer. We're going to store in reference one, except we now store in reference one different transistor. Now we switch to uh, first transistor. Okay, move it out of the way and store it reference two. This is uh, exactly what we did at the beginning of the clip. Okay, so we stored both parts now. Now what we can do, we can uh, turn off the measurement and let's switch the settings on the curve tracer. We're going to go to higher collector voltage okay, and going to remeasure one of the transistors at higher collector voltage. So. 
we still have life mode on and memories on so we have reference one on reference two on and the live display of one of these two parts on of course it could be exactly the same part number then they will be looking very close to each other um, and next thing we can do is to push your freeze button and store the screenshot as a JPG file with all three images in it. We're going to turn off everything, live image and reference memory, and here you go. You can see all three images uh, together. Let's go back to live mode. If we increase collector voltage, flicker becomes quite noticeable on 576. That's again because this is a CRT display and it's actually non-blanking CRT display. Sometimes you may want to reposition your measurement on the screen. So we added horizontal and vertical positioning controls which let you reposition your live data, live measurement anywhere on the screen. This way you can make it overlap with uh, images stored in reference. In addition to normal mode, there is a DC mode on a curve tracer. So what we did, we added a mode but which is called a single mode. Single mode is sort of like DC mode, except you have an exact uh, control of where you take a measurement. So as you increase collector voltage manually, you can push a single button on the front panel of curve tracer and you will store one data point in the program. You can store up to 512 data points. Uh, now, in repetitive mode, um, with the step generator working, 512 points collected almost instantaneously, but in the manual mode, it will take a long time to do this, uh, but it's beneficial because you can uh, actually see uh, great detail for your measurement. So how does this uh, upgrade affect 576? It, it does not affect it in any way or changes it. It's um, transparent to 576. Uh, we're back in live mode. Uh, so if we unplug uh, USB cable from 576, the program will just stop measuring the data. Uh, but 576 will work exactly the same. Here you go. We disconnected the uh, interface, USB cable, and program stops measuring, but curve tracer is not affected. Now, if we want to go back, all we have to do is to exit the program, plug in the cable again, and restart the program. So we plug the cable back in on the side of the curve tracer into USB port and restart the program. Okay, we're back in live mode, which is the default mode. Now, adding these data collection capabilities to a, a curve tracer that can test devices up, at up to 1600 volts and up to 10 amps in current really expands the range uh, of uh, usefulness for 576. Uh, for under $2,000, you're adding capability to 576 that currently competitors of Tektronix charge up to $100,000 and they have questionable reliability of their instruments. Tektronix 576 has proven 